As the clock struck midnight, more than 10,000 John Deere workers walked off the job protesting in Iowa, Kansas, and Illinois. The vast majority of the union rejected a contract offer earlier this week. We need to let them know that they can continue to take our money and take our money and take our money. Workers argue even as the company's profits grew by 61% in recent years and their CEO's salary grew by 160% during the pandemic, they say their pay has actually been cut. John Deere released a statement saying in part it remains committed to finding a solution with its workers, saying we want to reach an agreement with the UAW that would put every employee in a better economic position. Similar scenes could soon unfold across America, including in Hollywood. 60,000 film and TV crew members could hit the picket lines Monday over what they claim are unfair working conditions. Our hours are really grueling and we need not just rest between the workdays and over the weekend but an actual meal break during the day. In California and Oregon, 24,000 nurses and other healthcare workers at Kaiser Permanente voted to authorize a strike over pay and better working conditions. At Kellogg's cereal plants, workers have been on strike for more than a week, saying hours are too long, upset over seven day work weeks. Our number one priority is to get back to the negotiations table and reach a contract so our employees can get back to their jobs and their lives. 4.3 million Americans, nearly 3% of the workforce, left their jobs in August, many looking for better pay and conditions. Experts say some left out of fear of COVID. Because of the lack of workers right now, along with high shipping costs and a major commercial backlog, Americans are seeing less items on the shelves and they're paying more for things like diapers and new cars. All of this ahead of the holiday season. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.